Hi everybody, and welcome back to my channel. You can see I've been gone a while, and I'm really glad to be back. Um, I think it's been over a month since I've taped a video. Um, lots of things have been going on. Um, I have, for a lot of that time, been sick. And let's not talk about that part. It's not, nobody wants to hear about those health issues anyway. Um, but on the good days that I've had where I have been feeling well enough, I have been doing um, like a household overhaul project. And I don't know if you watch like any of those cleaning videos on YouTube, but um, I actually started watching them after I started my decluttering project of the house and the garage. So it's funny for me to look at those videos now that I've finished most of it. But, um, you know, I call it the urge to purge. And I used to do this at my townhouse in the summertime when I was teaching. I would take on the, I would call it the HO, the household overhaul. And um, I would go through and get rid of things that Sean didn't use anymore and clothes he'd outgrown when he was little and toys and things that he wasn't using. And um, so anyway, when I moved into this house three years ago, I got rid of as much as I had time for. And then all of a sudden settlement just creeped up on me and I had friends helping me move and they were down in the garage and I couldn't be in every room. <clears throat> so they were just packing everything, whether I wanted it brought or not. And so I just said, just take it because I don't have time to come down and tell you what to take and not take. So uh, long story short, a lot of things got brought to this house that I really didn't need from the townhouse. And so after three and a half years of it sitting here and us not using it, um, I decided it's time. If we haven't used those things in three and a half years, it's time to let them go. And so I started um, in the garage and I had bought three of those, you know, kind of floor to ceiling shelving units for my crafts because this little craft room, I stopped working in it a month ago. I couldn't do it anymore. It was the floor was completely covered with stuff and I had no more room for any more baskets on the floor, or bins or anything else. And as I've said before, I have a mouse problem. It's primarily in the winter. They usually leave in the spring. I try everything. I appreciate your suggestions below, but honestly, I've tried everything except an exterminator and I probably will go there this winter because I've tried poisons. I've tried traps. I've tried everything. And, um, I do want to ask my neighbor next door if he has this problem. The lady on the other side just moved out. I'm going to miss her. Um, she was in her 70s and living there alone. And she was a great neighbor. And I found out she was renting, she told me, when she left. So the owners have been over there uh, mowing and painting and things like that. So I'm crossing my fingers that I get a good neighbor back in there and not, you know, some wild and crazy people <laughs> that party all the time. Um, so anyway, um, I started in the garage and I mean to tell you people, the trash men were hating me. I had the whole sidewalk lined every week with trash bags and things I was hiding in trash bags, you know, like you do because you know the trash men aren't supposed to take certain things. Well, I wasn't really wanting to go to the dump, so I had laundry baskets in trash bags and stuff because really it's not their, their job to take them. But I did make one tip to, trip to the dump with like metal um, scraps that things that you have were laying around and um, concrete statues that had fallen over and the angel's wings had broken off, things like that. I mean, I didn't expect the trash men to haul those, so I did go to the dump once. I went approximately 25 times to the Goodwill. Um, I had things in there, um, beach towels when we don't go to the beach anymore. I saved a few in case we do. Um, I had tons of stuff like that, beach chairs. Um, I had blankets and towels and sheets beyond, I mean, there's two of us. Why do we need 24 towels in the linen closet? Um, why do I still have twin size sheets when he has a full size bed and I have a queen? I mean, um, he hasn't had a twin size bed since he was wee little. So I went through and I got rid of a lot of things. Shoes, clothes, purses, knickknacks. Then I went through, I have some books in these shelves here. I have a big bookcase in my room. 
I have two big wolf furniture library cabinets in my living room and I got rid of over 300 of my books. I got rid of about 300 when I moved here and don't cry for me, don't cry for me because I still have, mm, I'm gonna guess in the neighborhood of five or 600 books and I have over 300 on my Kindle, so don't cry for me. <laughs> I still have a lot of books that I love, but I gave away a lot that I've read and also a lot that I hadn't read because honestly, after 10 or 12 years, your tastes change. Um, I bought a lot of missionary books back then because I was doing a missionary trip to Africa and that's no longer part of my life so I let them go. Um, so anyway, to make a long story short, I, I finished the garage and then I came in and I did my bedroom and I did the linen closet and I did all the bookcases. I got rid of DVDs and CDs that I know I will no longer watch or listen to. Um, I sold some to Wonder Book and Video, a used bookstore. And so I'm feeling so much lighter, I cannot tell you. Now the garage was all clean and neat and tidy. Now it is an absolute disaster again because phase one of the garage project was to unload everything out of there that we hadn't used in three years. <clears throat> but I didn't go through all the Christmas stuff. And the reason is that why should I haul all that out? and go through all that when in six months I'm gonna pull it out and that's when I'll go through it. Um, so I did you know, find a couple of Christmas bins that were kind of like um, half full. So I did go through those, gave away a few Christmas dolls and stuffed animals and I combined two bins. That's really all I did. I have all these bins of ornaments to go through this year. So um, now phase two of the garage project is to take all this stuff out of here, not all of it, but all the stuff that was like all over the floor <coughs> and everything and take it out to the garage to organize and store on the new shelving units out there. I have three new shelving units that a friend put up for me, screwed to the wall so they can't tip over when I reach for something. Um, and all that stuff is out there on the floor now and waiting for me to sort. Um, two of the shelves have been installed. One is still in the box. He's had surgery, so I'm telling him whenever he offers, no, you're, you know, you just had surgery two weeks ago and you're back. You're not coming over to put that last one up. So um, I've started to put some things on the two and then I'm finished. The only room I haven't done the purge in is the kitchen and there's not that much. I have like some pots and pans I don't use. And I, I mean, let's face it. I used to give parties and I used to give um, like those home interior parties in the 80s. And I have all these chip and dip servers and I have all these platters. I used to have everybody for Thanksgiving. I don't have all that anymore. So why am I holding on to six platters? Why am I holding on to tablecloths and placemats? I don't use them. I buy one placemat nowadays and put it in the center of my table and I put a centerpiece on it. This year I have for summer a Pioneer Woman lovely round lemon placemat. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have a jar of fake lemons on it. It looks delightful. I don't buy, you know, a bunch of placemats. Sean and I don't use them. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting over bronchitis and a cold that double whammy with my asthma just always goes to bronchitis and whenever I get a cold. So um, anyway, I'm delighted to be back and I just wanted to fill you in on what I, what's been going on and what I've been doing. And I've had a couple of you reach out to me and ask me if I'm okay. And I cannot tell you what that means to me. Um, I haven't done any arts and crafts in over five weeks um, because I've either been too sick to do anything or on those good days, I won't even call them good days, so, so okay days. I've put my energy into a few hours in the garage, a few hours in this room or that room. And um, it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time and I highly recommend it. So uh, I started watching these videos and I started watching these ladies do the same thing that I've been doing and they've got their trash bag and their donate bag and they've got their box of outgrown clothes to give the neighbor um, and there's no way, people, that I would tape my declutter process. Let me tell you girls, let me tell you guys, mm, 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 mm. you would 
did not want to see some of the stuff that was in my closets and how it was kept. <laughs> That's what closets are for because you can close those doors. So anyway, um, that's what I've been up to. Comment below what you've been up to for the last month since you haven't seen me and I haven't seen you. Um, my daily creative diary, this is how it's been. You can tell I haven't been feeling well if I haven't written in my creative daily diary for almost six weeks. I'll tell you when the last time was. I saw Teresa in June and um, at the beginning of June and... I saw her at the beginning of May. The night before I was going to see her in May, I made a journal spread. I'm going to see Teresa, you know, the night before I, I laid it out. Teresa, Saturday, May, whatever. I think it was May 1st. And I never, the next day when I got home that night, Saturday night, I never filled it in. I never wrote what we did, you know, and what we talked about at lunch and the funny things that happened. I never did that. And I haven't written it since May 1st, well, it would have been the night before. It would have been like April 30th. That's the last time I wrote in my creative journal. And my one line a day journal, where I just write one line a day about something that's on my mind that day or something that I thought was funny or cute or whatever. Um, haven't done that since the same time. So you know, guys, how religious and devoted I am to those journals. And I haven't done them um, First, it started out me not doing them because I wasn't well. And then when I started tearing the rooms apart, I couldn't even find them because I took everything off the tables and all that. So now I'm back and I'm feeling much better. Um, my migraines are under control and uh, I had to go off some of my diabetic medicines that were tearing me up physically and just going to have to find another way to lower my blood sugar because that wasn't working for me. Couldn't do the side effects. So enough chit chat and um, please write below what you've been up to and um, how you're spending your summer and the last month since I've been here, how you've been spending that. Um, uh, we're not doing anything special and I'm just kind of sitting around the house doing my household overhaul and it's so needed to be done and enjoying my little backyard with all the shade. So let's get to the haul. This haul is, in, is kind of a two part haul I'll share with you. It's not very big. Um, the first part of this haul is the June haul from when I met Teresa, the beginning of this month. And do you know, it's so it's so long ago that I got this haul. I tell you how long ago it was. Next week, I'm meeting her again. We meet once a month. So this is three weeks old sitting here. And then I have a very small haul of things that I went out and got since I met with Teresa. And it's just a couple things. So... I'll start with, hmm. okay, so we normally um, start out at Hobby Lobby, and so I'll just say that I got a couple of these bins with the lids, and I have them with flowers on them and different things on them. But a few months ago, they came out with these paw print ones. Now, you know, me and animals, I got these, started getting into these paw print ones. And so um, I picked up a few more of those. These were the kind of bins and the project cases, you know, the 12 by 12 clear ones. These are the kind of bins that these and those that I'm using to organize everything in my garage. So when I go out there, they're all labeled, you know, it'll say pipe cleaners or it'll say doilies or it'll say pom-poms. And when I'm doing a project, I can go out there. There just isn't, this room is so little, I can't store it all in here. But that's okay. I'm only storing out there what can ha handle intense heat and intense cold. Obviously not markers and paints. And they'll just be destroyed out there in, in the weather elements. But, you know, ribbon, fabric, pom-poms, you know, all that stuff can go out there. Okay, so Hobby Lobby, we always meet there first, Teresa and I, and um, she wanted to look at, <laughs> she, well, she got in her head, she wanted to look at fabric, and you know, I'm always game for looking at fabric, and you guys know how much I love the peanuts, so I got, what did I get, a half a yard of this peanuts fabric, Pete, Charlie and the gang, Pigpen, Lucy, all of them. And so I'm going to make like a journal cover out of this or something. I'm not sure. And then 
you know, when I saw this sea turtle fabric. Oh, yes, yes, please. And at half a yard, these were on sale, and it came to one of them was $314, and one of them was $349. This will make a beautiful journal. I'm not much one for making tote bags, but I could learn to make, like, the little pencil pouches with zippers. I don't know. I, I probably won't, but I talk big. <laughs> I got a couple of packs of these chalk markers, chalk craft markers, $9.99 in the clearance section for $2.49. So I just got two of those, the pretty colors. And you know, I don't just use the chalk markers on like chalkboards. I use them on black paper, white paper, whatever. So I got these Children's beads were half off. These were $3.99, so I paid $1.99. These have, surprise, turtles in them and little stars and other beads. Let's see if I can get it where you can see the little blue turtles. And then just some faceted beads. And what else did I get in here? Oh, these are iridescent stars. These were on clearance for 29 cents. These little milk cans, they were picks. They had these long pointy, to stick them in floral arrangements. I just broke those off because I don't, I don't have any intention of using those as that and I didn't want them to poke through my bag and get ripped. We found finally, Teresa had gotten these mini, mini tiny playing cards before and they happened to have them again, so I was able to get one. I didn't get one before. Little sunflower buttons. 74 cents for this fish charm on clearance. And then, I don't believe there's any more clearance. There's just sale items. Um, oh, wait a minute, I take that back. I got a silver cactus charm for 29 cents, regularly $2.99. These Stickerland stickers, $1.49, and it's just all cats and dogs. Okay, little milk can, don't talk back to me. Okay, so the rest of this stuff, as you all know, if you're acquainted with Hobby Lobby, they periodically, once or twice a month, run their paper studio collections 50% off and that's the only time I'll ever buy anything from that collection. I'm not going to spend my money when I know, you know, in a week or so it's going to go 50% off. So that being said, I got these flowers, little lavender, $4.99 so I paid $2.50. I got these, $5.99. I'll hold them all up at once so you can just see the color variations. So these were all $5.99. I paid $3 <clears throat> each. They're beautiful. This Paper Studio sticker pad. Let me see. Where are the pair of scissors when you need them? This is your pets and more pets. It says less Monday, more pets sticker pack. And this was $6.99, so I paid $3.50. Different little cat and dog <clears throat> things. Had to have that. And you all will be shocked to see that I bought dog stickers at half off. I thought these were beautiful for spring, but I mean, I would use them other times, not just spring. I'll use them in the summer. Bunnies and birdhouses and the like. And these little gemmed sloths. Oh my goodness, they are so cute. Also, these, they're kind of like fabric-y leaves to go with those flowers that I showed you. This is some like under the sea stickers. You got your turtle, your crabs, and all that. And there's another sheet on the back. And then this is the last flower set that I <clears throat> that I had gotten. Excuse me. 
I kept trying to make this video or thinking I was going to make this video every day this week and the frog just would not jump out of my throat. Now today I sound a little better. So if you're thinking I sound rough, no, it sure hurt me a couple days ago. <clears throat> I was unrecognizable. Okay, so the next door that we usually hit is Tuesday morning across the street. Teresa and I, and I just got um, very little there, but I got these pearlescent paint markers by Crayola for $6.99. You get, I forget it, very little, 10. So why they put it in this great big tin when you only get 10, I don't know. So there's the colors that you get. And I, that's why I really wanted them. I have plenty of marker spokes, you know. I mean, we all do, don't we? But I don't have very many pearlescent. So let's see. Let's just open this bad boy. It's got peacock feathers on it, Dawn. And very pretty pin. Yeah. So those are the colors that you get, you can really see. For $6.99, I'll see how pearlescent they are, but that's why I wanted them. Okay, so that from Tuesday morning. <sighs> Salt and pepper shakers from Tuesday morning. I love that they're glass. I love anything wildflowers. And these were $5.99. Now, to discuss the last item that I got at Tuesday morning was a pack of Swedish ginger snaps. Now, they're very thin and crispy. They're like little, uh, Swedish ones are like little thin wafers. Well, I got home and the other, you know, a couple days after, I also bought a bag of lemon shortbread cookies, which are long gone. And I, a couple days later, I went out to the garage to my bags, and I was like, I'm going to have some of those ginger snaps. And I couldn't find them anywhere. And I thought, well, maybe they got, you know, put in a different bag. Couldn't find them anywhere. So I thought, I'm going to ask Teresa if they got in one of her bags. Oh, no, they didn't. They didn't. So pretty soon, she puts up her video. And she holds up these Swedish ginger snaps, and she says, Oh, look, I don't even remember buying these. Girl, it's because you didn't. <laughs> she goes, I'm going to have a big snack of these later. And sure enough, she pigs out on them after the video. I said, those are my ginger snacks. She goes, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll get you some when we go back. We both know there's not going to be any when we go back. But that's okay. I just thought it was hilarious that she was like, I don't remember even buying these. No kidding. So... Uh, just a few. I'm not going to go through every one pack of these stickers and silliness here. I'll just say I got some lemon pot holders from Dollar Tree. Dog stickers, llama stickers. They had these new kind of like just gem, almost like brooches. I'm not going to go through all of them and bore you. We've all seen the Dollar Tree stickers, honestly. I did like these straws. Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. Who knows? And these kind of puppy flower stickers I liked. They were kind of new to me. And then these large Crafters Square flower stickers. I got two of those. The rest of these stickers. You don't need to really see them. Okay. Okay. After lunch, we hit my table. Oh, I'm not showing that. I got that for a friend. I was only going to get the paper pads because they were buy one, get two free. So, um, and it was the paper pads, the sticker pads. something else. They were all on one rack and you could, you know, mix or match, buy one, get two free. So I got this Sunset Fields. 
and as you can see it is all sunflower theme type goodies fall looking type goodies so i love that there's stuff on the floor again and then I really liked this, what is it called? Butterfly collage. You've got cut aparts, you've got beautifully framed pages. All, all things butterfly and flowers. I love this. I mean, it's springy, but I would use it year-round. Year okay, Hazel, thank you. So, um, the third item that I got on the buy to get, buy one, get two free, I got a sticker pack for a friend. <clears throat> so, that was all I was going to get. Get your your three, three fur thing and get out of there. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hear Teresa yell, oh, they've got... Um, what are these things? Um, <coughs> Brad's on clearance. What? Oh, yes, folks. Brad's. They have. And I've bought these before at my Michael's, and they're like $3.99, I think. And all the Brad's, these big floral ones, a dollar. All Brad's were a dollar. The tiny floral ones, all of them a dollar clearance. I don't know what they're going to do for Brad's. These doves, white doves, a dollar. can't really see. There you go. These iridescent like gem ones, a dollar. The camera is not doing those any justice. And pink, white, and red hearts. All of these a dollar. So, oh, dots. They're just circular ones in different colors. Okay, so you've seen one, you've seen all of those. <coughs> so she saw those, I had to get those. And then these are just little jewel gems on clearance. It looks like they were $4.99 for $3. And I like the color combination. This is like the mermaid colors, the the purples and the greens and blues and then these are kind of like that magnetic steel color combinations i picked up these little star beads some more of these 48 piece um corsage pins thing it says they were $4.50 <clears throat> clearance for three dollars and the last thing I got from there were these little charms they are the little glass bottles with the cork stop and they have little bubble things inside them I hemmed and hawed about these um <coughs> excuse me $3.99, 40% off. You know, I just said, what the heck. I, I know I want to hang these from a journal or something. So I got that. Now that is all from my haul with Teresa. And I'm just going to throw this in instead of trying to make this a separate video because it would be like six minutes or something. Since I have been home from my haul with Teresa... I went to Hobby Lobby on Tuesday morning, and these beads were 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So I got the two different combinations. This is all purples, and this is purples with blues and greens and turquoises, and they were $8.99, so I paid $4.50. Um, I'll just quickly go through and show you that I got some of the girl stickers and some of the llama stickers, and they were $2.99 clearance for $0.74. Cents. I got the hedgehogs also for $0.74. Cents. This one sheet of Valentine girls for $0.74. Cents. 
these butterflies, puppy, 94 cents. For fall, these are going to be so stinking cute, the little woodland animals and the truck with the pumpkin in it, 99 cents. And they were just clearing some those babies out, and you know, otherwise I wouldn't have bought them probably, because I, when I cleaned out this room, I have four and a half huge bins of stickers. Shame on me. I need not buy another sticker pack as long as I live. Then in the clearance section, I found this 19.99. Who are they kidding? Book a year of stone painting on clearance for $1.99. Now that's more like it. I have the stones, I have the paints, I have the fine tip brushes. What is keeping me? I have one stone painting book and I wasn't gonna get another one, but 52 Mandela designs for $1.99. I'll give that a whirl. Shows you how to make them. So when I go to try stone painting, which better be soon, <laughs> I'll give that a whirl. Now, <clears throat> if you shop Joann's, you know that pa paper pads and the like with the, the name Park Lane on it is from Joann's. <clears throat> Excuse me, that frog is not quite gone. And so they, when they clear their stuff out, like many stores, Michael's, you see some recollections things at Tuesday morning. Um, these pads came from Tuesday morning, and that's all I got from there. And these um, are 24 sheets for $5.99. And you can tell they came from Park Lane. And this one's called From the Garden. Like I said, Tuesday morning, I got three of them. They had more designs that said Park Lane, but these were the ones that I liked. I love anything, garden, fruits, vegetables, flowers. I love all that kind of stuff. So I got that one. This one's called Floral Fun. Aren't they pretty? Look at the sunflower. I love the real photographs for a change instead of, you know, the watercolor painted flowers and all are gorgeous, but this is kind of different with the real photographs. Okay, you get the idea. And that's another park lane. And then this one is graphic 45. Get this tape off here. Nope, still not off. Okay. Graphic 45, Life's Journey. 16 sheets for $5.99. Okay, so this is what you get. The vintage looking papers. With the bicycles and... Kind of the floral that looks like wallpaper. Anyway, the airplanes. So they had others, like I said. Believe it or not, they had other Graphic 45 that I did not pick up because it was all travel themed or sports like golf. Um, I don't go for that stuff. <clears throat> and they had other Park Lane that just didn't appeal to me either. So. I, 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 my friend that runs the Tuesday morning can believe that this is really all I got out in a couple of hours of lemon shortbread cookies. She's like, oh, you're going light today. I said, yeah, I can't believe it. So that's all, folks. And I've really cut back on my shopping. Um, I don't know, around the same time I started getting rid of stuff out of my house, I started cutting back on my shopping, I guess, because I looked at how much stuff I have, and I don't need anything. What I need to do is start using what I have, especially, you know, craft-wise. <clears throat> so, um, I have two Happy Meals to share with you. So, after this video, I'll get on with sharing those. Hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.